welcome to FND training uh, welcome to FND training concepts YouTube channel um, welcome again to uh, FND beverage classification the third part of uh, the beverage classification um, thank you for those who have subscribed those who have not yet please I recommend that you subscribe and uh, share the videos with your colleagues friends so that they can uh, be they can be able to benefit from the, this um, area in very this uh, important area in food and beverage uh, industry okay um let's jump to the uh, straight today's training and the aim of um, the learning objective again as we we've spoken in previous uh, slides uh, the aim is to list the types of uh, wines and their ingredients to know the fermentation and distillation process to analyze whiskey, rum, brandy, gin, and vodka, uh, vodka to ad identify wine and their styles. Okay, and most importantly, uh, becoming a beverage ambassador. Beverage ambassador, we've said that it's a person with very good knowledge on uh, beverages, that is both alcoholic and non alcoholic, uh, is in a position to talk about the beverages, to train fellow colleagues in uh, hotels or restaurants on beverages. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, we have our, our chart that has been guiding us through on uh, the classification process. And just to take you back on the part one and part two, what we've covered. Okay, for part one, we've already spoken about the beverages where we have the red dot. We've spoken about, we've already identified what is beverages and what is alcoholic and what is meant by alcoholic beverages. And then we spoke about distilled beverages. We spoke about... Uh, uh, briefly and uh, basic information on on whiskey, gin, vodka, rum, brandy, tequila, and other spirits. We spoke about liqueurs and cocktails. That was uh, the first uh, the first part of uh, the presentation. The second part we spoke again. We we used the same chart and we spoke about beverages. And we took the other, we went to the left side where we spoke about uh, non-alcoholic beverages. It's very basic and straightforward. Uh, the classification was actually divided in three main categories. That is, um, these are the three categories where you can see, be able to see the red dot. That is refreshing drink, stimulating drinks, and nourishing drinks. We were able to cover all these areas in that slide. If you have not watched part one and part two, I strongly recommend that you watch these two areas. They are very uh, informative information. And uh, with that, we, we can be able to watch part three. And part three, we are going to talk about, uh, let me go back. Today, we are going to talk about uh, fermented, what? Fermented beverages. This is, again, very huge topic, and it cannot be covered in one slide uh, because it's going to be very long. So we're going to break it down and make it as short as possible for to make all the learners, um, to make it short for uh, easy understanding. So what you're going to look today in today's slide, you're going to look at uh, beer, the uh, beer, wine, cider, and perry. You're going to be understand what are all these um, uh, fermented drinks, and then uh, we'll proceed from there. We'll see what uh, the next course is going to be. Okay, let's uh, continue with the with the slide. Uh, previously, we've spoken we've spoken about introduction and definition of beverages, and we were able to identify that beverages uh, is another name for drinks, and uh, uh, drinks or beverages is basically any liquid that is uh, fit for human consumption. Uh, we'll proceed again. Um, again, we, we've already covered about the introduction of alcoholic beverages. We were able to define the term alcohol and what is an alcoholic beverage. An alcoholic beverage, we say that it's any beverages that contain 0 0.55 of alcohol by volume up to 76 alcohol by volume is considered as, as uh, an alcoholic drink, which is the 76% is actually the, uh, we can say the, um, the most, it's, it's what um up to 76 is the what do the word i can use is actually fit for human consumption anything higher than that 
um, it's not, it, it can be drunk, but again, we say that it's not fit for human consumption because it's a classified as medicine. Okay, uh, let's proceed again. Uh, this is our chart that we've, uh, we've been using to help us uh, learn this very important topic. So today we said we are going to cover these three areas, beers, wines, ciders, and perry. Let's jump to the slide so that we make the training as short as possible and easy for understanding. So uh, the first uh, drink that we're going to look look at, no, this is not even the first drink. First, again, we're going to look at very two, uh, two important terms or processes or methods that are used in alcohol making. So we've already spoken about fermentation process. We said fermentation is a very basic, uh, it's a very, um, it's a natural process whereby it's a reaction of sugar, yeast to get uh, carbon dioxide and alcohol. And then we say distillation. Distillation is another process of uh, evaporating and condensing liquids or mixtures uh, in order to purify them. Um, okay. If you've not uh, seen, uh, if you are not present for, uh, if you have not watched the previous slides on uh, these two topics that we spoke, I recommend that you watch it. Or alternatively, you can just go uh, uh, on this on this slide at your own pace. Okay, let's jump and see what uh, our first beverage that we're going to be talking about is. Uh, introduction to beer. Um, so, what is beer? Quite simple, beer is a beverage made with malted cereals, cereal grains, which include barley, wheat, rye, corn, and or rice. Then hops and water is fermented by adding yeast. Yeast eats the sugar, divides them into multiple of carbon dioxide and ethanol, that is the alcohol. Um, let's look at our first diagram. The first diagram shows barley, okay, but we said uh, it can be, uh, it's, barley is one of the grains, but it's not just restricted to barley. Uh, we said it can be, it, uh, we can use barley, wheat, rye, corn, or rice. So in the first diagram, you can uh, replace it with any of these grains that I've mentioned. And then uh, this uh, malted grain is then, uh, is, is it's, uh, we add hops, water, then the yeast, and the end product you're going to get uh, the fermented beverage, which is called the beer. The most important ingredient here that must be present for this, uh, for, for a, a, you know, a drink to be classified as beer, the most important and cannot miss is the hops. If the hops miss in, be, uh, in, uh, in the beverage, then it cannot be classified as beer. So the one in green, okay, this right over here, the hops, that is the main flavoring agent that gives beer its dis distinctive character. It's, uh, so it's a basic process. Beer is one of the most basic, uh, you know, drinks that is made. It's just mash, boil, ferment, and the end product is beer. Okay, beer is one of the widely consumed alcoholic beverages. Okay, it is third overall, uh, the most consumed drink that is after water and tea. And then um, it is also believed to be one of the oldest fermented beverages. Okay, uh, let's proceed and see how uh, beer is. Uh, uh, no, uh, we are going to have um, another slide so that we do not make this one uh, very long. We are going to have. Uh, another slide just specifically just talking about the beers where we are going to be where we, you're going to look at a beer at the fermentation uh, fermentation process of beer beer styles any cocktails made from beer um, the optimum uh, the uh, alcohol by volume in beer uh, we're also going to see the serving style of beer beer styles okay uh, that will be featured on a separate um, uh, slide okay Let's proceed to the next beverage. Okay, the next uh, fermented beverage that we're going to talk about is wine. Okay, wine is an alcoholic beverage obtained from fermenting freshly uh, grape juices that have that have been freshly harvested. 
it is preferred it is prepared by both uh, white and red grapes there are many types of uh, grapes produced but all of them not uh, are not uh, basically suitable or used in making wines uh, the grapes actually are the mo uh, the, the grapes uh, give the wine the color flavor and aroma so that's um, uh, the most important uh, you know ingredient in wine making okay um as we've said also for beer again we're going to have um different slide just picturing dedicated to uh, the wine process where we're going to look at uh, the new world wines old world wines uh, you know the uh, the grapes grapes varieties both red and white uh, characteristics of wine we're going to look at um uh france in general um the you know the vinification vintage um of wine okay uh so it's going to be a very interesting and wide topic uh we'll talk more when we start featuring uh when we start talking about just basically the wines okay uh, let's see how the wine is uh is prepared okay so we've said that uh, you know we have a freshly harvested grapes then these they can they can either be crushed or pressed depending on you know the kind of wine you wants wants to prepare then fermentation then uh, again uh, they go to a third step if you look at the picture here we have the third process i'll take here after fermentation uh, wine goes wine so we said step number three after fermentation red wine goes to press separate with the wine from the grape skins okay um this is like again it this uh show uh, it's a it depends on which uh, wine is being uh, you know is uh, being uh, is being prepared it's either it can either be red or white and you know um the process actually differs in uh, the making um of uh, red wine red white and rosé wines okay so uh so that i do not confuse you or give you so much information we're just going to look at the basic shallow process which is again um the pressing fermentation filtering bottle and then aging okay which again is optional or it can be aged as uh, you know uh, depending on the wine and uh, what the winemakers want they can age it up to a very long uh, long uh, very many years okay so let's proceed and see what the, the next slide is talking about it's talking another beverage called cider okay cider is uh, generally um, al an alcoholic beverage made from uh, you know fermented fruits okay but mostly uh, when it says cider refers to most people refer to apple ciders apple ciders is again as the name says just apple uh, an alcoholic beverage made from fermented apple juice and uh, basically that's it i recommend that you go through the notes for better understanding and some more information about uh, apple cider okay uh, we'll go to the next beverage again it's something similar to apple cider but this one is called curry curry uh, as you know apple is to uh, cider then we say perry uh, you know uh, pear is to perry uh, it's an alcoholic beverage made from fermented pears okay uh, this is a, very, a special kind of pear that are freshly squeezed and the juice is uh, fermented and the end product is called perry. Uh, basically that is it for today. Okay, I'll take you back to our chart so that I can show you where we stand and where we're going to pick up in the next uh, presentation. So today we've spoken about alcoholic beverage distillation, these two uh, methods of preparing alcohol that is distillation fermentation and then fermentation we covered these four areas we've covered the beer we've wine we've covered cider we've covered perry okay uh just a recap beer okay is a fermented uh, beverage made from uh, grains and most importantly it is flavored with hops for it to give its like for it to be classified as as beer okay we've said wine is again it's also an, another alcoholic beverage made from uh, freshly uh, grape juice okay um 
we are going to look again if you if i just take you down again you're going to see the uh the classification of 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 wines they still sparkling aromatized and fortified wines which is going to be our next uh topic that you're going to be talking about still uh still wines sparkling wines aromatized wine and fortified wines okay we've spoken about cider we've said cider is a, a be alcoholic beverage made from uh, fermented apple and perry is uh, also another alcoholic beverage made from fermented pears okay let's go to the end and see what is in the end okay that was the end of today's presentation uh thank you very much for your time and if you have not yet subscribed please ensure that you subscribe so that you do not miss any of this information that we are sharing uh, and also i'd like to have your feedback if you can drop me um you know you can put your comments down if there's any uh areas you feel that we need to improve please share it in the comments section and uh definitely one of the members from fnb training concept will get back to you or i'll personally get back to you thank you very much for your time and uh thank you very much and god bless you